Okay, we back with a quick story out of Far Rockaway, a crash out story. We are not going to waste any time, let's get into it. Hall was born in Guyana, shortly before his family ended up moving to Far Rockaway. As the only male in a house full of seven sisters, Travis Hall was directed by his protective mother to stay away from boxing. It was too dangerous, he was told. When he was 18, Hall said he couldn't wait any longer, and he escaped to the gym. He trained hard to be the best boxer he could be. In 2009, he won the Golden Gloves Championship at a bantamweight in the novice class. In 2010 and 2011, Hall was a Golden Glove semifinalist as a bantamweight in the open class. After that, the day finally came for Travis Hall to start his mission to become a world championship boxer. That day was August 12, when the former 2009 Golden Gloves champion captured a victory in his professional debut. Hall defeated Sergio Aguilar via unanimous decision in a four-round featherweight bout held at the Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Hall said he was pleased by the way he controlled the tempo. The burgeoning pro was also happy about his consistency and ability to display an accuracy of punches in the ring. I felt great. It was a big moment I've been waiting for a long time. I worked really hard to display myself as a mature fighter. I wanted to show many different things. First impression counts Hall said. The Rockaway fighter competed in one of seven bouts held by Dream Team Boxing Promotions to showcase boxers who hold regional championships. Hall, whose nickname is Lil Tsunami, had plenty of confidence going into the fight. A huge motivating factor for Hall was to impress the organizers and other boxing observers with a good display. I controlled everything. I outboxed him. I was moving and I gave a lot of angles so I didn't get caught with a shot. My trainer told me to give a lot of angles and use my jab Hall said. I want to be a different fighter. I felt really strong in the fight. I just wanted to see how it feels with no headgear. I didn't go out there and rush. I took my time. Hull recorded a knockdown to Aguilar late in the third round. After bouncing off the ropes, Hall leaned forward to land a right hand to the face and then landed a left hook to put Aguilar on the floor. The bell sounded at the end of the third round before the referee could count him out. Hull returned to Rockaway to prepare for his next fight. It seemed like Hull's career was pretty promising. He would go on to obtain a professional record of six wins, one loss and one draw. He adopted the name, Black Mamba, like Kobe, and New Legends Boxing Promotions was considering signing him to a fight deal. However, in December of 2014, things would take a dark turn. He warned of the dangers of revenge on his Facebook page a week prior, and the professional boxer found himself being grilled by cops about his girlfriend's brutal murder on a Queen Street. Travis Hall, 28, was being questioned by detectives at Jamaica Hospital about the shocking slaying of Margarita Rivera near her home. The mother of two was stabbed numerous times in the chest and beaten in the head with a pipe, cops said. She was trying to breathe, but she was bleeding from her nose and mouth, said a neighbor. We were just saying her name, Marguerite. Marguerite. Help is coming. Stay with us. She said she'd seen the former Golden Gloves champ running away as she approached. He was holding his stomach the neighbor said. He seemed out of it. A person who spent almost a year living as a foster child at Rivera's home said a neighbor came banging on his door around 2.30 pm. I ran up the block and she was laying down there the person said. She kept trying to say his name. But she couldn't. She was too injured. She tried saying Travis Hall. I knew exactly what she was trying to say the person said, breaking down in tears. I knew who did it. Hours later, Hall was found unconscious behind a dumpster at 127th Street near 9th Avenue, almost 10 miles away from the scene of the crime, sources said. He had no visible injuries. Hall purchased the pipe 90 minutes earlier from a nearby Home Depot, the receipt of which was later found in his possession. Friend said he and Rivera had dated for years and had been living together with their two kids from different relationships. It was said that she had broken up with him. They had a rocky relationship and Hall believed Rivera was cheating on him, said Hall's stepfather. Hall was busted prior for allegedly threatening Rivera and the foster child with a knife at her Watson Place home. He then hit the foster child, 19, in the face with a two-pound dumbbell in his hand, fracturing his cheek and causing bleeding and substantial pain court papers say. Hall pleaded guilty to third-degree assault in October. He was given a conditional discharge, meaning the case would be dismissed and sealed if he stayed out of trouble for a period of several months. 
A week before the murder, cops were called to Rivera's home again because Hall had allegedly pushed her in front of their daughter. But Rivera filed for a restraining order after the incident. A day before that incident, Hall wrote on his Facebook page, when anger rises, think of the consequences. While seeking revenge, dig two graves, one for yourself. I've learned holding on to anger is like grasping a hot coal with the intent of throwing it at someone else. I'm the one who gets burned. Getting angry doesn't solve anything. Using my brain and taking a much smarter approach dealing with all of life challenges will put everything where I need it to be. The day of the shoving incident, he posted a slightly mangled quote by philosopher Baltasar Gratian. Never do anything when you are in a temper people, for you will do everything wrong people. A lot of lives will be lost, and nothing will get done. Hall's former trainer, Kenyatta Harris of Rockaway's Rope said, nobody saw this coming whatsoever. He's a boxer, but not a violent person Harris said, expressing remorse for Rivera's family. That was a very selfish move he did, he said. In 2017, Hall had an angry outburst in court and was later restrained after a Queen's judge slapped him with a 25-year-to-life prison sentence for the brutal killing of his ex-girlfriend. Before the outburst, Travis Hall mumbled, get out of here, as the judge read the court's decision. There is no question in my mind that this pro boxer acted with premeditation, said the Queen's district judge, who rejected the defendant's plea that childhood sexual abuse in Guyana caused him to kill his ex-girlfriend. The defendant was able to get past these childhood episodes. The victim's knee said the family has yet to heal from Rivera's brutal death. Christmas will never be the same he left her to bleed out on the cold concrete. In court, the defendant's lawyers alleged that Rivera's relatives threatened the Hall family three separate times, including once at a laundromat, during the trial and outside the courtroom. But this about wraps this story up. Is this a crash out or no? As always, stay low and thanks for watching.